All right, so in this video, I am going to hit up pacemakers. Now, EMTs see pacemakers on a daily basis. So I think it's a good idea for you guys to have somewhat of a good, decent understanding of how pacemakers work in general. And then I'm gonna make a few more videos after this one, breaking down pacemakers even more, because the more you know, the better you are, right? So, a pacemaker. This is a general little drawing of a pacemaker. So you have what's called the can or the pulse generator is the entire circuit. This is where the circuit is, the battery is. And when you see that little bulge on your patient on the chest, this is what you're looking at for the most part. This will be kind of bulging out of your patient's chest. This is the actual, what we call the pacemaker itself. So the, the entire body of the pacemaker is called the pulse generator, okay? The pulse generator is the entire body of the actual pacemaker. Then this little top part, there's like a little squared top part on the, on the pacemaker, it's called the header. And then you have the leads. So the leads are what actually go inside the heart and uh, help the heart out when it comes to pacing. So that's the general breakdown and how it actually looks. Now, how does it work? That's the big question, right? So how does it work? So what it does is the pulse generator will send little impulses to the heart via these leads. The wires that you see here, these are supposed to be wires that go in the heart. They're called leads and it will send little electrical impulses to the heart wherever it needs to be because depending on what's going on with your patient, with your patient's heart will depend on where these leads will go. Now, some uh, some pacemakers will have only one wire or two wires, and again, it depends on what's going on with your patient's heart. Now, the little impulses, the electrical impulses that are sent to the heart will allow the heart to contract. So remember, if, if you've seen a previous video, contract means squeezing. So it's gonna allow the heart to squeeze and pump that blood to where it needs to go. And contraction means the same as depolarize. So depolarize, contract, squeeze, it all means the same thing, just different and fancier ways of saying things, all right? So we got the breakdown. This is what a pacemaker somewhat looks like. You got the pulse generator, the entire body is called the pulse generator. The top part is called the header. You have the wires, which are called the leads. What does it do? It sends small impulses to the heart so it can contract, squeeze, right? Okay. So usually you'll see the pacemaker on the left side of your patient's uh, chest. And the way it works is that you have your cephalic, now this may not be spelled right, but it's okay, it's not an English class, guys, and it's free, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so you have your, your cephalic vein that goes up here, right? And then below that you have your brachial, your brachial vein, brachial for your arm. Now as your brachial arm goes more and towards the torso and to the core of the body, once it gets to this range right here and it moves away from the arm, it's called the axillary vein. So the brachial vein is the, is the same vein as the axillary vein. Just depending on where it's at, will depend on what it's called. Will depend on its, on its name. So the wire, these leads, will actually be inserted into either the cephal somewhere in the cephalic vein area or in the axillary vein, which was your brachial before it went into the core. And then the lead, let me see if I can maybe draw this better for you. So the lead will go either from in here and then it'll be inserted into the atrium or it will be inserted into the ventricle depending on what's going on with the heart. Or it can go through the cephalic vein up here and then it will also end up in the atrium or the ventricles. And it's going to send little impulses to help out the heart. Now, if you're looking at an EKG, because your paramedic is there and you guys um, are working pretty good together, he lets you look at a, a, an EKG um, with a patient that has a pacemaker and the way you are able to recognize whether it, a lead is either in the atrium or the ventricle is that if you look at the EKG, the little swiggly lines, if you know kind of the how this works, that this is right here is called the P, the Q, R, S, and then you, you would also have a, a T, but I leave the T's out. Um, if you see a spike, like a little 
a little spike line that goes up or below it doesn't really matter it depends on which lead you're looking at if you see a spike followed by a, by a p wave we know that p represents the atriums so that means the lead is in the atrium and it's sending impulses to the atrium if you see the spike right before the qrs that means that it's sending the impulses to the ventricles and the lead is in the ventricle and that's it for now guys real simple and i hope this works here's a big picture of everything I'll go over this in a little bit in the next video. I don't want to make this one too long. Uh, take care. Any questions? Leave them below. There you go. Below.